Hey, and welcome back to the Buck Run Kids Show. I'm Pastor Scott, and I'm excited for week two of Explore the Bible. I hope that you had an awesome time looking at the creation and God's beautiful world that he made. I had a great time reading from the Bible each day, and I hope you did too. And I want to remind you that we are not alone on our expedition each week through the Bible. As a matter of fact, one of my good friends is here because he's exploring the Bible with us. Mr. Ryan, come on. Hey, Buck Run Kids. Hey, Scott. How's it going? Oh, it's going great. I'm ready to explore the Bible. Right. I've got my gear. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go on this expedition. I'm pumped. It's, Mr. Ryan, it's not that kind of expedition. What, what did you think we were going to do? I'm going to go hiking, go maybe to the Salado Center, to the Gorge. Um, whew, I don't know. I was just prepared for anything, really. Well, I am glad that you're prepared, and I love your eagerness, mm -hmm. and uh, we're not going anywhere. So I don't need these super cool swishy pants? No, but I'm glad you can zip them off below the kneecap. That's cool. Yes, um, very versatile. <laughs> Yeah, you look great. However, this is not like a safari. There's no like crazy animals going to attack us. We're, we're exploring the Bible, the whole Bible, like one expedition at a time. Just looking at one part of scripture each week at a time. Okay, well that sounds thrilling. Yeah, it's awesome. It is so good. And the good news is you can wear whatever you want. Some people are like doing this in their PJs in the morning. Some people are like... Doing it before they head to school, they got their nice clothes on, or hmm. before they open up their computer for school. Uh, you know, people are wearing all kinds of things, and some people look like the Crocodile Dundee. It's totally fine. Do you think anybody else has swishy pants? No, I don't. Mm, that's their loss. Yeah, it's fine. Maybe that's a new thing. <laughs> That'd be the new Bucker and Kids wardrobe, yeah. however. Yeah. It's all right. Well, hey, it's okay. Aren't you glad Mr. Ryan's exploring the Bible with us? I know I am, because it is so fun to, to be with others as we seek to learn about God one expedition at a time. Now, I want to make sure you know what you need to go on an expedition. I've got it. I've got it right here. Let me, I got you, kids. Here you go. This is what we need. Let's see. Number one, obviously, a book that tells you which lines not to mess with, which lines that are okay, they're not going to get you, you know. Okay, let's Don't see. all lions? Mm -hmm. okay, well, they'll eat you. You obviously okay. haven't read the book. This is a pillow, of course. you got to take sleeps. We're not going anywhere. A right camping shoe. Don't you need to? Don't you need to? A left camping shoe, say no more. Okay, what else we got in here? Let me see, let me see. A buckle to... Um, <clears throat> uh, buckle, buckle stuff. Yes. We don't need to buckle. We're a, reading a book. Kroger Plus card. Get, make sure we maximize the discounts. Let me see what else we got in here. A jump rope. You gotta stay up on your cardio. You're gonna be walking, hiking through all sorts of crazy stuff. Jump rope. What else we got? Hammock to sleep. Well, anything more? Uh, yes, but no. Um, we. Okay. That's my backpack. Yeah, you, that's a cool backpack. That's a good one. Wherever you got that, that's great. Um, I, I appreciate how serious you're taking an expedition, because you should take this really serious. But let me, let me help you with what we actually need to explore the Bible. Okay. First, a Bible. That makes sense. Yeah, here, you can, you can have that one. Wow. Um, yeah, it's, okay. it's a great Bible. Second is the Explore the Bible book. Yours looks a little different. This is the parent version. If your mom or dad might have that, but you, you take this is what we're going to like. It tells you what to read. Like, it's going to be like, read Genesis 3. Okay. And, and which lines are no good? It doesn't, well, it probably will talk about a lion, but not that, not that lion. Um, there, we'll get that, we'll bring you back for when we talk about Daniel. Okay, um, perfect. It'd be great. And then like, you'll write in that, so you just need a pen. Okay. Well, mm, not too great with pens. Mm, big pencil guy. Pencil. Okay. Yeah. I'm prepared. Pencil. Got it. Okay, that, I'm an old soul, so the mechanical, they don't really, they don't work for me. More of a number two guy. Wooden, you know. Need a pencil sharpener? Thank you, Mr. High Maintenance. Ex oh, this is the one. As you were saying? Yes, so that's all you need for the expedition. You might need to bring an adult with you. It's fun to do things with other people. Um, but each day, we invite you to, to open up your Explore the Bible book. It'll tell you what to read. And if you need help with that, again, grab your adult. They'd love to help you with that. It'll answer some questions. Uh, you'll, you'll get to write some notes down with a pencil or pen. 
your choice. Uh, and you're going to read the Bible. And that's what, again, we're so excited. We're so proud of you for reading the Bible each day. Well, last week we talked about our memory verse. How'd that go? Genesis 1-1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. How'd you do? Great. Oh, some of you struggle a little bit? It's okay. It's no problem. Clearly, we all mess up some. But this week... Uh, we have a new verse. It's Genesis 3.15. And uh, it's a little bit more difficult, uh -huh. I would say. Uh -huh. um, but we know that you can do it. In Genesis 3.15, God says, I will put enmity. A little conflict. <laughs> it's a tension. tough word. Yeah, I'll put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and her offspring. He shall bruise your head and you shall bruise his heel. That is a lot. But when we say it over and over and we practice and we... Uh, we, we can get it. We can do it. Hey, Mr. Ryan, you want to try the, the verse? I will try my best. Okay. Genesis 3, chapter... Oh, see, already messed up. That's okay. Genesis chapter 3, verse 15. I will put in, in, enmity... Enmity, that's right. Enmity is the word, between you and the woman, and between your offspring and her offspring. And he, he shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. Yes. Now, this week, we're talking about a ruined world. It is it's a really sad thing. Well, last week, we talked about, you know, Mr. Ryan, it's a beautiful world. God created this perfect world. And this week, things change. Sin comes into the world uh, through a snake, a serpent, and some fruit, and Adam and Eve. Oh, it's really bad. Mm -hmm. But it's important to read about it, to learn why we are the way we are, why we're sinners. And uh, and yet, we're going to continue to see how God loves us. So, these are very different things to read from last week, but still really important. And I am glad that you are a part of it. So, we're going to explore the Bible this week together. Genesis 3, head on into Genesis 4. It's going to be awesome. No matter what you're wearing, no matter what things you thought you needed, open up your copy of God's Word, the Holy Bible, the real and true Word of God, and explore the Bible together. We'll see you next week.